Hello everyone, so in this video I want to show you how you can run PyTorch with an AMD GPU and it's literally the same as with an NVIDIA GPU. There's no difference in syntax, everything is the same, it works perfectly, installing it is even easier due to the Docker image. Um, so I was fortunate enough to get a trial to use the MI300 GPU from AMD from the good folks at Hot Isle. So this is a beast GPU with 192 gigabytes of memory, just a monster. And everything just pretty much worked perfectly with PyTorch, uh, Hugging Face, uh, fine tuning with Clora. And I'll talk about those in other videos, but in this video I just want to focus on PyTorch. Now everything works perfectly with AMD's Rock M, exactly like with NVIDIA. So um, first things first is you want to make sure your GPU um, supports Rock M. So uh, AMD has a list of supported GPUs, so like MI325, 300, but for consumer GPUs like the 970, 9700, 970 XT, uh, all these things uh, work. So uh, make sure your GPU is supported, but let's get started. So I also wrote a Medium post, which I kind of explained the process. So we're pretty much gonna follow this post step by step. So the first thing is, is AMD recommends you use um, their latest uh, Docker image. So I'm assuming you have um, Rockem installed and uh, Docker installed, but I can make another video about those. But the reason I'm starting from this is because my VM honestly started from this. And I'm just gonna show you how like PyTorch is exactly the same with this. So let's first uh, pull the Docker image. So you go to your, um, to your VM, you pull the Docker image. Uh, so you do that command. And then now uh, we're gonna start the Docker container. So I'll do this uh, command here. I'm literally copying from my Medium post, which will be linked and I'll also put the command, sorry about that. Uh, oops. Okay, so now I put the second thing. Um, and now uh, these two are running. So now I have to do the third thing. I, I do this to get into the, connect to the container, uh, X, uh, my rock and Jupyter env. The reason I'm just copying and pasting it is I'm showing you like when you do it on your own, you can literally copy and paste it. So I'm here. And now as you see, I'm in the Docker container. So now because we're data scientists, we want to use Jupyter. So let's do pip install. You can do install Jupyter or Jupyter Lab. So I'll do pip install Jupyter. Maybe I should have made this bigger. Anyways, so I install Jupyter. And then because this is a remote machine, I want to uh, basically um, uh, run it in the, uh, in the background and I want to use it on my machine. So if I do this command here, no hop, Jupyter Lab, IP 00, zero port, 888, no browser, allow root, and notebook app token is my token. So this my, to this my token will be the token uh, uh, when we get to the Jupyter. So you, let's just copy that command. No hop, what it does is if I exit the terminal, uh, I'll still have like my Jupyter running. It, it means no hang up. So uh, uh, otherwise, a lot of times you exit the terminal, if you don't do no hop, your thing is dead. So, okay, so now what you can do is, uh, let's say my IP was uh, uh, one, two, I don't want to write my exact IP, so I'll do one, two, point, three, four, point, five, six, point, seven, eight, and then I do eight, 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 uh, and then I can get to my Jupyter notebook. Um, it says it's suspicious because I made up the numbers, but that's what it does. I, I did um, a thing called um, port forwarding, so I can actually access my net localhost 880. Uh, because I didn't want to share the IP, um, ChatGPT said it's not good to share. But then if you write your uh, password or token, remember it was my token, now we have our Jupyter notebook as is, okay. So now I just want to show you that it's literally the exact same thing, uh, AMD and NVIDIA. Even checking your, your device is the same. So if you go back to my Medium post, you'll see that um, I have like a command here. I have uh, basically import torch, and then I do torch.cuda.get uh, device name. And if I do that, look, it's gonna get that uh, torch.cuda that is available, I'll get true, and torch.cuda.get device name, I'll get the device name, the AMD Instinct MI300VF. 
So the Docker image literally installed everything perfectly, the PyTorch, everything. Uh, and as you see, it has CUDA. It's not really CUDA, it's actually ROCKM, but like the syntax is literally the same. And the device name, you get the AMD MI300X VF. Okay, so now that you have that, I wanna just show you guys just like a few uh, examples that everything works the same. So I have this example where like I basically, I, I compare a CPU, so I do torch the device CPU and then GPU torch the device CUDA if you have CUDA else uh, CPU. And then I have uh, basically a, a, a deep neural network with like four layers. Uh, I have a data set, a random 50,000 uh, by 1,000 and, and then uh, 50,000 uh, uh, labels. And then I do the training for, we'll do 10 e epochs so it'll be faster. And I'm comparing basically um, the GPU versus CPU version. And uh, you can also basically open a collab notebook and compare it to like NVIDIA's uh, A100 or whatever. Uh, but honestly, it's not a fair comparison because the MI300 is stronger than the A100 by a lot. But as you see, I'm running, oh, oops. I ran it with 100 epochs, so it might take some time. So let's do interrupt kernel. I'll run it with 10 epochs. So uh, this is literally comparing um, GPU and CPU. And as you see, it's the exact same syntax of PyTorch people are used to. Same dot two device, same everything. Nothing has changed. Even the name CUDA is used, even though it's not CUDA. So everything is literally the exact same. So uh, as you see on the CPU is 20 seconds, on the GPU is 1.49 seconds. It's weird. Uh, usually the GPU is faster. So I guess uh, something uh, something's weird. Maybe sometimes if you run it a second time, it's faster because it compiles the first time. But anyways, uh, the point of this is just to show you guys that everything works smoothly. So um, wh uh, while this is running, I wanted to sh say that um, if you go to PyTorch tutorials and you just click on tutorials, like let's say uh, quick start and you, um, you basically say uh, view on GitHub and then you, uh, you press copy raw file and then you go back to our notebook. By the way, now is the real comparison. See, it's like, it's, a, it's about 100 times faster on AMD's GPU than the CPU. Just the first time it compiles it, so there's like a little latency. But now I'm just showing you random examples. Like let's see the getting started example, which is basically, uh, let's go back to it. This is basically, uh, as you see, it's the fashion MNIST, which is basically like MNIST, but you're trying to predict on fashion things. And I'll, I can make a much more detailed notebook on these things, but um, in the, in the, because I'm a little pressed for time, I just want to give you the big picture that everything literally works as it is. I press enter, look, it's running it. Everything is, is good. This is not regular MNIST. This is uh, fashion MNIST. You get 60, 60-ish percent accuracy. You don't get 99 point something, okay? So don't expect that because this is a much harder one. Uh, but anyways, you see it's running smoothly. Everything is perfect as is. Um, and then we can try other examples. Like let's say you want to do reinforcement learning, right? So uh, my favorite reinforcement learning is the Super Mario thing. So I can, uh, this uh, you teach an agent to play Super Mario. So I can do again, view on GitHub, uh, copy raw uh, file. And this one, even if you used NVIDIA and Google Collab, you're, you're gonna have to download like the Super Mario environment. But okay, so I pasted the Super Mario code here. Um, so first of all, the previous one, as you see, it finished with a 65% test error, really fast, everything works smoothly. This one won't work smoothly because we're missing a lot of things like uh, OpenAI's gym and uh, special environment for uh, Super Nintendo. So let's install these things. Um, and then I'll show you that like the reinforcement learning one works perfectly. So let's do uh, let's do a pip install G uh, gym i think it is uh, things have changed since i used to use this uh and then i need uh gym super mario bros and then i i need uh, t uh tensor dick torch rl torch uh rl tensor dict 
And also, you need, I think you need a uh, Super Nintendo NESPY, I think. Uh, let's see if this is enough. Okay. Oops. Uh, ne not NESPY, NESPY. That's the Nintendo uh, Python thing. Okay, so now I installed all this stuff. So now I can run the uh, reinforcement learning uh, agent through this. And I think it's doing, oh, it's doing uh, double deep Q networks. Uh, the point of this video is not to explain reinforcement learning, but just to show that things work. Oh, we need Matplotlib, that's an easy one, okay. So pip install, ugh. The point of this is just to like show you that literally everything works the same, like you don't have to worry. It, it just, everything installs in a second. You just copy and paste the Docker command you run the, the code. It's literally the exact same thing. Um, and watch, I'm running Super Mario. It's said I'm using CUDA. It goes episodes at a time. Uh, hopefully the uh, reward, uh, the mean reward increases over time. Uh, as you see, it's still uh, running. One second. Oops. See, when you copy everything together, it takes a little bit of time. So uh, while this is running, let's let it run. Let's show you like, just for the sake of completeness, we'll show you a third example. Like you could do uh, basically, uh, I don't know, like uh, we can do something like uh, some NLP task, but um, let's, you know, let's wait a little bit. You know what, screw it. Let's just do the NLP task. So uh, while we're waiting, we're waiting for this to train so uh, let's look at, um, the, if you go to, uh, da, 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 da. learning PyTorch, you can, you see NLP from scratch. Maybe we'll do the third uh, thing, which is a sequence to sequence uh, network, uh, attention network. So it's basically learning to translate from French to English. So this notebook here, so to get the, the full code, you can do view on GitHub, and then you can copy uh, the raw file. Okay, so that's copied. Meanwhile, by the way, it's running. See, we're at episode 20, but uh, I'll do co uh, control V, oops, and uh, copy it. Uh, sequence to sequence translation, uh, copy raw file. So now, if I go here and I paste the raw file, uh, as you see the previous thing finished, um, and uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, exact, the mean, the reward went down, so it might not be the best thing, but that's just because we didn't do that much stuff. Uh, we can get it to work, but anyways, uh, just to show you like NLP thing uh, also works smoothly. Uh, here you might need to like, uh, you, you might need to actually download some data. So like if you do, this is NLP from scratch. So maybe uh, here I can do something like, uh, it needs, uh, you, we need to get the data. So uh, where to get the data? Uh, download the data here. So uh, let's just do this. We're gonna s ask our good friends at ChatGPT. We're gonna say, um, write me uh, Ubuntu commands to download data from here. So let's do, we'll do these commands. So let's see if this works. So this is to get the data. And I'm sorry, I'm rushing a little bit. I'm just showing you that everything works as is. You don't need to worry, it's Jupiter, so we have to do the uh, explanation marks. Uh, so now I got the data here and now I'm, I'm running this NLP this is like uh, this is not the transformers or attention is all you need this is basically like a sequence model with transformers so it's a little different uh, but anyways like everything is working perfectly like let's just wait for it to train a little bit um, uh, first it's reading lines so it hasn't done anything yet but uh, Anyways, uh, let's wait for this to run. 
the medium uh, video medium post uh, will be public and I'll put it in the description I'll explain things soon I'll make a video on Clora and I'll, I'll maybe rush through it less and also on hugging face in general uh, but for now I just wanted to show you that everything works perfectly as you see it's starting to train um, we don't want to wait uh, for it to run, but I've ran this before. Everything works. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new, please like and subscribe and have an amazing day and give AMD a chance. Thank you.